What's up guys, Parker here. I have an awesome video today showing you how to create dynamic hierarchies. This is going to allow you to select the different levels of the hierarchy based on slicer selection. So as you can see, I have a matrix below and I've selected retailer type, year, and quarter. So we can change this to be dynamic so we can do order method, uh, quarter, and product. So now you can see it's dynamic to show us those three selections. Or finally, let's do product type, uh, product line, and year. That's awesome, it's totally dynamic, and I wanna show you uh, that you can do this in not only the matrix visual, but you can do it in other visuals as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this over and copy it and paste it. So let's go ahead and do the same thing in a combo chart. So I'll change that to a combo chart, move one of these values down. And now I just wanna show you that we, as we drill up, we see our first level, let's make it order method. So now we're showing our different order methods. Uh, we can make the second level product and finally year. So as we drill down, we see now our products followed by our year. Or if we want to show quarter instead, we can just show quarter. So this is awesome. It's extremely dynamic and pretty easy to set up. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I have a, another file already set up. Let's go ahead and go to the query editor and load in our data correctly. So right now I have some sample data loaded in. It has uh, basically our attribute columns that we're going to want to slice on, followed by three numerical columns that are going to be used uh, for our aggregations to show our values. Um, so all we need to do here is we need to create uh, an index column. So let's go to add column, index column, and I usually do from one. And I want to show this index column at the beginning of the table, so I'll right click, move to beginning. So now we have our index columns, our, at, our index column, our attribute columns, and our numerical columns at the end. So go ahead and select the index column, or actually, that's all we need to do on this table. Then we need to reference this table and create a copy of that data. And if you aren't familiar with this process, go ahead and check out my video on dynamic columns in a table or my dyna dynamic x-axis video. So it's gonna show you why you need to uh, create these um, copies of the data and pivot our data. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and carry on. So I've referenced this. I'm going to rename it to sales pivot one. So like the name says, we're going to actually unpivot our data. So let's go ahead and select the index column and our three numerical columns. So the only ones that are unselected are our attribute columns or our dimensions. So we'll go ahead and right click on any of the selected columns and go to unpivot other columns. So this is gonna leave us with our index column, our uh, three numerical columns, followed by a new attribute and value column. So this is gonna show us all of our columns here, followed by the values that were populated in those columns. So you can see that the index is um, replicated eight times because now we have this kind of vertical table structure showing our attributes and values. So that's all we need to do in the query editor. Go ahead and click home and close and apply. And we can actually go ahead and set up a little demo of the dynamic hierarchy already. So let's go ahead and create a matrix. And we are going to throw in from sales pivot one, we're gonna throw in value into the rows and any of our numeric columns into the values. So I'll go ahead and throw in quantity and revenue. This doesn't look like it makes too much sense yet because we need to actually slice our data in order for it to make sense. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the chiclet slicer and I think you should too. Um, it's very important for the strict because it has something that allows you to force selection, which is very important for this. So we want to throw an attribute into the category. And just so you know, in case you want to import the chiclet slicer, just click on the ellipses, go to import from marketplace and search for chiclet, and you'll be able to find this. So let's go ahead and click on one of these. So as we click on year, we see that now we are dynamically showing the year in our rows. Or if we click on product, then we're only gonna show the product. But you can see as we select on a couple, that's why we need to force only a single selection because we only want one to be shown at all times. So let's go ahead and go to the formatting, general, and take off multiple selection and check on force selection. So now we're only gonna have one selection as we click through. So now we have retailer type or quarter or year. So that's really dynamic already, but let's go ahead and add a couple of levels to the hierarchy. So how we wanna do that is we wanna to go to modeling, new table, and we're gonna create sales pivot two, and we're gonna set that equal to sales pivot one. 
So that's gonna be the exact same table as sales pivot one. Let's go to our modeling view. And we can see there's already a relationship between sales and sales pivot one on index. And we're gonna create that same relationship from sales pivot one to sales pivot two on index. And we're gonna create that cross filter direction and make it sales pivot one filters sales pivot two. So we wanna make sure that sales pivot one uh, is filtering sales pivot two so that arrow is pointing from one to two. And that's all we need to do. So we're gonna go back to our matrix. We are going to add our value from sales pivot two below value from sales pivot one. So we're starting to create that hierarchy. And we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the values here and add the values from our lowest table, our sales pivot two table. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and copy, or we're gonna make this smaller actually. And then we're gonna copy it and paste it over here but instead we're gonna use the attribute from sales pivot two. So now this is sales pivot one on the left, sales pivot two on the right. So we have year selected and order method, but now we already have our hierarchy set up. So as we drill down, it's year and order method. So we can go to product type and product, and we see that dynamic hierarchy already. Let's go ahead and do this one more time so we can really nail in the method of how to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange a little bit so let's go ahead and create one new table. New table, we're gonna call it sales pivot pivot three. And let's just set it equal to sales pivot one again. So it's gonna be the exact same as uh, sales pivot one. Let's go to the relationship view. And now sales pivot two needs to filter sales pivot three based on index. And so two filters three. So the arrow is flowing from two to three. Now let's go back to our visual and let's go ahead and add value at the bottom of the rows and we'll get rid of our values and add the values from our, our bottom table. Awesome. And now as we go ahead and copy this slicer and move it over and instead we're going to use attribute. Uh, from sales pivot three in that third slicer. So now we can drill down and we have our final three levels so product type and then product and then let's say year. Awesome, so that's the uh, entire functionality that we wanted to achieve today. It's not that hard, just taking another look at that modeling view. It's basically our master table, uh, just filter sales pivot one, which filter sales pivot two, which filter sales pivot three, all on index. So it's actually pretty easy. Um, so I hope you like that video. It's an awesome trick to make your report extremely dynamic. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.